If you or anyone you know has a needle phobia, then this video is for you. My name's Carl Wallace and I'm a Holly Street therapist, hypnotherapist, life coach and author. And uh, if there's anything holding you back in life, then this channel is for you. So if you subscribe, at least I know I'm heading in the right direction and I'll carry on doing videos. So anyway, uh, needle phobia, trypanophobia, right? Um, I've been raising awareness of this for many years and I help resolve this for free. Got to stop doing that now, just for key workers and the elderly. I'll carry on doing it, but I can't do it for everyone, right? Uh, I'm being inundated. Right, I can sort this phobia out in one or two sessions, okay? Um, and the thing is, people say to me, why'd you do that for free and nothing else? Well, the fact is, people die from this. People die from this all the time, right? We're avoiding this. People don't die from spider phobias or height phobias, right? Anyway, they just avoid them. So, you can't avoid this, right? At some point, you've got to have one. If you don't, you're going to die, right? So, even, even a simple thing like an abscess, right? If you avoid having a uh, dental intervention, that can get to your bones or your blood, cause sepsis, and that'll kill you, right? So, it, it's the number one cause of preventable deaths in the world. I reckon, well, there's research, about one in four people have a varying degree of needle phobias. So, uh, part of my campaign, I was on the uh, national radio this week. I've also been featured in the Sun newspaper. Uh, and one of the things I get asked a lot is why that is such a common phobia. Right, well, I'm about to explain now, right? Um, when we're kids, we're learning computers. We're sponges, right? And we have to be. We've been designed that way. It's part of our evolution. So we bang our head. We learn very quickly via pain. Pain's a great incentive not to do that again, right? However, right? As kids, we also need inoculations, immunizations, vaccines, right, of diphtheria, meningitis, measles, mumps, um, rubella, right, loads of different things, and that's delivered by one of these, right, and if you're like me, you've still got a scar, that was painful, it's not just the injection, it's the after effects and the side effects, right, and it's delivered by that, so we associate that with pain, right, also as kids, we have milk teeth, we have, um, you know, wisdom teeth, and when you have cavities and that sort of thing. So we need to have dental intervention. And what's the first thing that happened? You get one of these bad boys stuck in your gum, right? So we associate that with pain, not being able to eat, discomfort, swelling, blood, right? So we, from a Pavlovian conditioning perspective, we anchor that to, the, to what I've just mentioned, right, to discomfort. Also, if you hurt yourself, you knock yourself, whatever you, you need, uh, stitches, it all starts with one of them, right? So that's why, from a learned behaviour perspective, we uh, it's so common, right? Um, we're only born with two phobias, fear, uh, fear of uh, loud noises and falling, and falling like heights. So uh, everything else is learned, and that's one of the things we learn, right? That equals pain. There is another reason, um, that's from an evolutionary perspective, why it's so common to avoid one of these is that um, for millions of years, even before we were humans, uh, compromising the integrity of our skin, exposing our uh, internals to the element could result in uh, infection and infection resulted in death for most of our evolution, right? So we very quickly learned to avoid even like scratching ourselves, right? Because it was only up until, if you think about it, it was only up until what, 1940 that Fleming discovered penicillin, which, uh, which meant that having open wounds was no longer life threatening. Okay, so these things are just part of the reason why this is such a common thing, right? It's part, of, it's part of our learned behavior as a kid, but it's also part of our evolution, right? But that doesn't have to be. We can, we can break the association of that with pain, right? So, um, yeah, that's it. That's what I want to say. I just want to raise awareness. This is part of my campaign. Um, knowledge is power. And understanding something, understand, understanding something, why it's there, tends to remove some of the fear of it. So, uh, starting on this journey, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just great to, to raise awareness of this stuff. I'm going to be doing loads of other stuff about trypanophobia, so uh, look out for my other videos, and uh, thanks for watching.